kismic on the track, that equals death. He in the south blowing dink, I'm blowing loud. Rest in peace, D block. I can't breathe. Rest in peace to all my G's that I lost in the streets. It's like my head on the water, I can breathe. Nah. If you want to promote something on my channel for my thousands of subscribers, hit the email up. I don't care if you rap, sing, dance, you got merch you trying to promote, anything. Hit me up. Serious people only. DVD era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the time Memphis Bleak ran down on Camron. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you check the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Now in the DVD, everyone Dame Dash signed Cameron and the Diplomats to Rockefeller Records. It seemed like this started a lot of tension between Dipset and the original members of Rockefeller. Now around the time Cameron and the Diplomats joined Rockefeller Records, it seemed like this would be the beginning of the end of the whole Rockefeller dynasty. Now some people say it was a Brooklyn versus Harlem thing. And some people simply said Jay wasn't feeling Dame Dash making Cameron the vice president of Rockefeller Records. Now here's a small article from BET.com and it says in 2002, Jim Jones announced Cam as the new vice president of Rockefeller while Jay was away on vacation. The industry all but held its breath until Jay's return. There were already rumors circulating that him and Cam weren't getting along. By 2004, Jay had sold his share to label the Def Jam. Now, According to Bleak, he says when the whole separation at Rockefeller was going on, it would be times he felt like Dipset and Cameron was making gestures towards Jay-Z. And he said he pulled up to the State Property 2 movie shoot. And when he was on the trailer, he looked Cam in his eyes and told him if it's a problem with Jay, then it's a problem with me. I looked Cam dead in his face and told him, yo dog, if it's a problem with Ho, it's a problem with me. Now, according to Bleak, he was saying to Cam, like, look, we could get it on now. We could get it on later, however you want to do it. It don't make no sense to talk greasy and try to make this records. When we sign to the same label, we know what everybody office is. If it's a problem, let's get it on now. And he said Cam wasn't with it, though. Cam ain't want to fight. And basically, Cam was like, yo, I just want to get money. I don't want no problems. Word on my kid, God can strike me right now. I don't got no problems with none of y'all. I just want to get money. Now, basically, Cameron didn't want no problems with Bleak. He ain't want to get it on with Bleak over dissing Jay and talking greasy about Jay. And I believe Bleak, man. I, I got to say, I believe Bleak. He said, all oh, my kids, they could strike me down right now. Once somebody say that, you know they ain't lying. If they lying, that mean they don't care about their kids and they don't believe God really go strike them down. But Bleak said all that, so I believe him. And besides that, you know, Bleak was loyal to Jay-Z. Now, I mean, you couldn't play about Jay with Bleak, man. He was willing to put it all on the line. And that's how it's supposed to be. I'm not going to lie. Dude put you on, help you get rich. He put you in a position where you can make money. You never supposed to have anything bad to say about him, even if things went wrong or he may have did some stuff that didn't benefit you or go in your favor. But for the most part, he gave you a platform to be somebody. And, you know, this just like a case of the bad outweighing the good. It's like we always remember the bad and don't really remember the good of situations. And sometimes you got to humble yourself and just be like, yo, 80 percent of the time they were good to me. The other 20 was bad. But, you know. That don't matter. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all think Mint Bleak capping about pressing Cameron? Or y'all feel like Bleak is telling the truth? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out. One.